10 Strange Things Found Underwater. Number 10, The Ghost Trains of the Atlantic Ocean. In 1985, a team of marine explorers searching for sunken treasure off the coast of New Jersey stumbled upon something completely unexpected. At a depth of over 230 feet, about 70 meters, their sonar detected two massive rectangular objects. Upon investigating with remotely operated vehicles, they discovered two mid-19th century steam locomotives, incredibly well-preserved, resting upright on the seabed, as if they had been placed there intentionally. A complete mystery surrounds these machines. There are no records of any ships sinking in that area while transporting locomotives. Furthermore, no wreckage was found near them, no ship's hull, no rail cars, no debris, simply two iron giants from a bygone era lost in the darkness of the ocean. Theories range from a secret jettisoning to lighten the load of a ship in trouble, to a barge that capsized in a storm and disintegrated over time, leaving only its heaviest cargo behind. Whatever the truth may be, these locomotives are a silent and enigmatic monument to an industrial mystery lost to time. Number 9. The Underwater Stonehenge of Lake Michigan In the depths of Grand Traverse Bay in Lake Michigan lies a structure that defies simple explanation. In 2007, while surveying the lake bed, a team of underwater archaeologists discovered a series of stones arranged in a long circle about 40 feet 12 meters below the surface. The alignment of these rocks is so precise and deliberate that it has been nicknamed the Underwater Stonehenge, evoking the famous prehistoric monument in England. What makes this finding even more extraordinary is that one of the stones features an engraving that appears to be a mastodon, an animal that went extinct in the region over 10,000 years ago. This suggests the structure could have been created by prehistoric inhabitants of the area during the last ice age, when the lake level was drastically lower and that area was dry land. The structure raises fascinating questions about the ancient civilizations of North America and their ability to create large-scale monuments a stone secret that has waited millennia to be discovered. Number 8. The Antikythera Mechanism Considered by many to be the world's first analog computer, the Antikythera Mechanism is an artifact of astounding complexity. It was discovered in 1901 among the remains of an ancient Greek shipwreck near the island of Antikythera. What initially appeared to be a corroded and calcified lump of bronze turned out to be an incredibly intricate device composed of more than 30 interlocking bronze gears capable of predicting astronomical positions, eclipses, and even the dates of the Olympic Games. Dated to around 100 BC, its technological sophistication would not be seen again in the world until the arrival of astronomical clocks in 14th century Europe over 1,500 years later. The mechanism demonstrates a knowledge of astronomy and engineering by the ancient Greeks that goes far beyond what was believed possible for that era. It is a testament to a lost genius, a device so advanced for its time that it forces us to rewrite the history of technology and wonder what other ancient knowledge might have been lost in the depths of the sea. Number 7. The River Inside the Sea On the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, there exists a natural phenomenon so surreal it seems taken from a fantasy world, a river that flows underwater. Inside the famous Cenote Angelita, divers can descend through crystal clear freshwater to a depth of about 100 feet 30 meters. There, they encounter a strange whitish cloud that spreads out like a river, complete with trees and fallen leaves on its banks, creating the perfect illusion of a submerged terrestrial landscape. This river is actually a dense layer of hydrogen sulfide, a gas heavier than the salt water that lies beneath it. It is formed by the decomposition of organic matter and separates the upper layer of fresh water from the lower layer of salt water. For a diver, crossing this layer is like entering another world, moving from clear visibility into a murky darkness and then emerging again into the salt water below. It is a striking reminder that the strangest and most wonderful places on our planet are often hidden beneath the surface. Number 6. The Lost City of Thonis Heracleon For centuries, Thonis Heracleon was considered a city of legend, mentioned in ancient texts but with no physical evidence of its existence. It was believed to be a prosperous Egyptian port and a gateway to the Mediterranean. 
Everything changed in 2000 when underwater archaeologist Frank Godillo, after years of searching, discovered it completely submerged in Abukir Bay near Alexandria. The city had been swallowed by the sea over 1,200 years ago, likely due to earthquakes and soil liquefaction. The findings have been spectacular. Colossal statues of pharaohs and gods over 16 feet, 5 meters tall, hundreds of anchors and ancient ships, gold coins, jewelry, and the remains of magnificent temples. The entire city lies underwater, a vast field of ruins that reveals a civilization frozen in time. Thanos Heracleion is not just a shipwreck or an isolated artifact, it is a complete metropolis, a real Atlantis that offers us a direct window into the life, religion, and commerce of ancient Egypt. Number 5. The Army of Silent Sculptures In the clear waters of the Caribbean, off the coast of Granada lies one of the most haunting and beautiful art galleries in the world. This is the Molinaire Underwater Sculpture Park, a collection of life-sized human figures made of concrete and steel, created by artist Jason DeCares Taylor. The sculptures are anchored to the seafloor and depict scenes from everyday life. A circle of children holding hands, a man writing at a desk, a cyclist pedaling on the sand. Over time, these figures have been colonized by corals, sponges, and marine life, transforming into living artificial reefs. The effect is both ghostly and magical. Water currents and the play of light create the illusion that these silent figures are moving slowly, watching the divers who venture into their domain. It is not an ancient discovery, but a modern creation that has become a strange and fascinating ecosystem, a meeting point between human art and the transformative power of nature. Number 4. The World War II Airplane Graveyard In the heart of the Pacific Ocean near the Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands lies a war cemetery like no other. At a depth of about 130 feet 40 meters, rest the remains of over 150 American combat aircraft from World War II. F-4U Corsair fighters, B-25 Mitchell bombers, and Douglas SBD Dauntless dive bombers lie in almost orderly rows on the seabed, covered in coral but still recognizable, like a ghost squadron in eternal formation. These planes did not crash in combat. At the end of the war in 1945, transporting them back to the United States was deemed too costly. Instead, the U.S. military simply pushed them overboard from aircraft carriers deliberately sinking them into the depths. Today, this airplane graveyard is a world-renowned diving destination, a solemn and surreal monument to the massive scale of the war, and a reminder that the scars of history are found not only on land, but also in the deepest, most forgotten places on our planet. Number 3. The Baltic Sea Anomaly In 2011, a Swedish treasure hunting team called Ocean X was using side-scan sonar to search for ancient shipwrecks in the Baltic Sea. Instead, they found something that has baffled scientists and fueled conspiracy theories ever since. At a depth of 300 feet, 90 meters, the sonar revealed an incredible image, a perfectly circular object, 200 feet, 60 meters in diameter, with what appeared to be ramps, stairs, and other non-natural structures. Furthermore, a track over 1,000 feet, 300 meters long, seems to lead directly to the anomaly, as if the object had dragged itself across the seafloor before stopping. When divers approached, they reported that their electronic equipment, including satellite phones and cameras, mysteriously stopped working when directly over the object. Samples taken turned out to be volcanic rock, but its symmetrical shape and the strange features detected by sonar remain unexplained. Is it a unique and bizarre geological formation, the remains of an unknown ancient structure, or something entirely out of this world? The Baltic Sea anomaly remains one of the greatest underwater enigmas of today. Number 2. The Intact Prehistoric Forest Imagine a cypress forest that thrived during the last ice age, when much of North America was covered in glaciers. Now, imagine that same forest, perfectly preserved, discovered nearly 60 feet, 20 meters, beneath the waves of the Gulf of Mexico. That is exactly what was found off the coast of Alabama after Hurricane Ivan in 2004, 
scoured away the layers of sediment that had protected it for 60,000 years. This underwater forest is a biological time capsule. The tree trunks are so well preserved that when cut, they still release the fresh scent of cypress sap. Analysis of the tree rings provides an unprecedented climate record of a prehistoric era, offering clues about a world that was nothing like our own. It is a complete ecosystem that was frozen in time and then buried by the ocean, a finding that redefines our understanding of Earth's ancient landscapes and allows us, literally, to touch the past. Number 1. The Impossible Pyramid of Yonaguni Off the coast of Yonaguni, Japan's southernmost island, lies what could be the most controversial and mind-blowing evidence of a lost civilization. Discovered by chance in 1986 by a dive tour operator, the Yonaguni structure is a colossal megalith that stretches for more than 300 feet 100 meters. What makes it so astonishing is not just its size, but its shape. It appears to be a step pyramid of sandstone with enormous flat terraces, steps carved at 90-degree angles, and what look like pillars and walls. It is so geometrically precise that it defies the belief that it could be a natural formation. The debate over its origin is one of the greatest disputes in modern archaeology. On one hand, geologists and skeptics argue that the structure is the result of natural geological processes and erosion on sandstone beds which tend to fracture in straight lines. However, other researchers, including marine geologist Masaaki Kimura, claim to have identified tool marks, carvings, and even a turtle-shaped rock, insisting that it is a citadel built by humans over 10,000 years ago during the last ice age when the sea level was much lower. If this structure is artificial, it would completely change our understanding of prehistory proving the existence of an advanced civilization capable of massive constructions thousands of years before the Egyptians or Sumerians. It would represent evidence of an ancient world of which we have no record, whether it is the greatest geological coincidence on the planet or the last relic of a forgotten empire. The Yonaguni Pyramid is the ultimate underwater mystery, a silent monument that holds a secret that could rewrite the origins of humanity. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Give it a like, comment your thoughts, and share this video with your friends and family.